some young broke dude. Ava's new fake tits remind me how fake Jeffrey Epstein's suicide is. Being called ugly will never hurt my feelings. That shit a straight motherfucking lie. <laughs> you say the n-word even though you're not black and that's why you smile like a fucking witch. Spec Ops 1 logo on his thumbnail. Bruh, you're like Internet Explorer. You're like Windows Vista using Explorer with Yahoo and 10 other tabs open on McDonald's public Wi-Fi. Stop upvoting. This is stolen from Pew Pew PewDiePie. I hope your headphones fall out right before the drop. Uh, rare insults. Can I be in the screenshot? Sure. Shit happening all the time. Things literally falling apart. It's enough to make a girl mental. You calling me mental? Ah, uh, no. Just wouldn't be surprised if you bought a dozen cats and named them after the disciples is all. You loved Bam Margera. I think I looked more like a metalhead Tim Minchin. You look like a good Charlotte fan if they shopped at JCPenney instead of Hot Topic because mom said it was too dark. Like for real, what the fuck is your major malfunction? He's being a fucking rat raisin, but he's a gapping hole in society, an absolute Gary Cherry. Kristen Stewart is the hot girl's ugly friend's weird ugly friend. She looks like the kind of woman who would get sloppy drunk and openly flirt with her friend's 14-year-old son at the neighborhood block party because he's good at high school sports. R slash oddly specific. You say that like it's a bad thing. Without a doubt, I would nail this heinous bitch. R slash rare insults. Why does he look 13 but get 40 at the same time? When you are so focused on dancing that you're not even realizing a green highlighter is watching you. The guy who went to jail looks like a failed Jesus that God threw in the trash. Jesus on meth. R slash rare insults. This strikes close to home. Hey Jonathan, I'd be more worried about your parents spelling your name incorrectly. They might as well have named you Jemmy with the hearts over the eyes. I'm Fisco over my man. I'll kill for him so you fuck with Jay, you're fucking with me. Remember, I fight dirty as fuck. I will kill a bitch or a but for him. And he will do the same for me. He's the Joker. I'm Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn or double chin? <laughs> people who think SpongeBob is annoying are the same people you see at Disneyland alone eating four ice cream cones, crying and making angry eyes at every single happy families he sees. Then goes home to his rundown apartment to drink and sleep to wake up and go to a nine to five job that pays minimum wage. Okay, true. Your hair is just thinner on top, bruv. Yes, but I asked specifically for no floppy shit hanging down. It looked great at the barber shop. Your mustache looks like the clumpy hair found on the shower drain after you're done. Beards aren't for everyone. My first shot sloth from the goodies finally decided to lay off the baby roof at Rocky Road. R slash rare insults. That copper guy looks like the blinking man meme, but he is getting pegged by a light bulb. Hi, I'm wondering if this is still available. Sorry, this is a gaming laptop. I'm not selling to women. It's not a sewing machine. I hope that that guy drives into his trash cans next time he's coming home from work. I got rear-ended on Walnut Grove today. All is well, no worries. And this whole grown-ass woman called her mom to the scene to yell at me for calling the cops. I would have been happy to handle it like a lady, but if your mama wasn't such a hoe, I wouldn't be suing you for a whole new bumper, you inbred pseudo-sentient cheese puff. Glad you're okay, though. She looks like Raven from That's So Raven after nearly 11 years of alcohol and drug abuse and tells people she's a stay-at-home mom to cover up that she's unemployed and lives off her sugar daddy's money. You wouldn't even be successful if you were the only audition for Meg in a Family Guy parody porn. Bruh, don't call people idiots if you can't even type your correctly, you stale piece of lobster cum. Why the fuck does Zach Fox and Kitty Beats look like the stereotypical maid character and sidekick from every 2000s kid cartoon? I'm probably not the first to say this, but Jake looks like a gay stripper like from Police Academy Blue Oyster Bar. Trippy Red looks like a side duck with a meth problem. 
Mulaney is like what would happen if a quirky radio show host from the 1930s was desperately trying to make it in the modern world. Logan with the sweater and the wig looks like a 40-year-old 1970 mom who works at an office 9 to 5 to support her four kids and who drinks alcohol and cries at 4 in the morning with her boyfriend who keeps asking for sex and who listens to rock and who smells like lasagna. Jumping from the height of her ego down to the level of her IQ would be fatal. Little baby look like he make his animal crackers fight before he eat them. Joe Rogan looks like the Squirtle with sunglasses from Pokemon. They fit, but cooking them that closely together is not recommended. Better off doing two or even three batches. I bet you make two trips to get all the groceries out of the trunk instead of one. Sunglass guy looks like he drives a low-end Beamer and honks a lot. Your hair looks like when you pull on a loose clothing strand and it expands. Pete Davidson always looked like a starving werewolf in mid-transformation. He looks like he's doing meth while being sober at the same time. He looks like he hasn't realized he died yet. He looks like Beetlejuice's son. My grand wants her lampshade back. Fucker just looks like a disabled kid with max upgrades. What the fuck is up with Justin Bieber? He looked like Angelica's doll, Cynthia. Jake Paul permanently looks like he's processing what people told him five minutes ago. <laughs> this movie sucked ass. You and your opinions are as useless as the U and Q. R slash rare insults. I like it. What the fuck is this shit? Why is garbage like this on Reddit? This, you festering rectal polyp, is a drawing. The reason it's on here is because I'm bored. The reason I'm bored is because I don't know where you live, so I can't spend my day removing your eyes with an ice cream scoop and skull-fucking the sockets until the accumulated seminal deposits on your cerebrum slightly raise your IQ level. Have a nice day, you inconveniently situated roll of toilet paper. My 16-year-old son took an IQ test and he scored an 87. I am highly disappointed in him. How should I punish him? Don't be jealous just because his IQ is twice yours. Having you as a parent is punishment enough. Whoever allowed ads during this deserves to have their funeral interrupted by elephantine farts. The guy on the left who doesn't really filter on his own Insta got filtered by the other guy a bunch too. That guy on the left looks like an anime character and the one on the right looks like a ventriloquist dummy. That guy on the right is my sleep paralysis demon. College students do not have to go in debt to get a degree. They can work their way through like many of us did before the day of student loans. Ma'am, you were classmates with Moses when college classes cost only a few shekels. This is Mary Sue. I called your establishment earlier this afternoon and I had a conversation with your manager and I just want to have a little talk with him about his terrible, awful behavior over the phone earlier. Oh, is this the wild angry buffalo woman again? The what? Oh, sorry. That's what he called you. He's been talking about you all day. Well, I never... I don't think you want to talk to him, ma'am. Now listen here, you sorry excuse for a peanuts Christmas tree. I want to speak to your manager right this instant. Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, believe you me, I won't. Wait until he hears what I gotta tell him. He's gonna regret- Yes, yes, hello, this is Mario. Hello, Mario, if that even is your real name. What you want, woman? Why you not go get food from somewhere else? Why you bother Mario? For your information, I haven't been able to eat all day. Your behavior on the phone earlier made me lose my appetite, thank you very much. You lose appetite? Mario does not believe you. What you want, large pepperoni? You cannot find pizza at the watering hole with all the other water buffalo? Well, I... How dare you? Oh no, cow get mad. Mario does not like when cow get mad and catch mad cow disease. You know, in all my years I have never... Never what? Eat vegetable? Why don't you hang up phone and take a nap like good 
eight foot tall toddler woman and call back when you are ready to eat your food like a good little baby. I will never order from your restaurant again. You mark my words, I'll rue the day that I ever step into your so-called establishment again. Yes, yes, and Mario's day will be all the better for not having heard you screech like wild jungle monkey into his ears. Now please, I have business to run. Please hang up phone and go back to your feeding trough with all the other dirty angry warthogs. How dare you? Ugh, he's going to regret losing me as a customer.